All right, guys, welcome to another video. And today we are talking about Poco Launcher once again. Now, this is the fourth update in the last one week that we've gotten. It really shows that the change in management at the top level for Poco is really working and they're working hard to make things better. But with each and every beta update of Poco Launcher do come a few bugs. Now, in today's video, we're going to talk about what's new, what has been fixed and what are the bugs that are still present. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Now what we have over here is a POCO X3, not the Pro, but the normal POCO X3. And this has just been formatted. So this is actually running one of the oldest versions of POCO Launcher. So if we go to the about section, you will see this is 2.22.1.863. And I've just downloaded the latest release over here that you can see. So we're going to click on it. And this is how you update it. Go to settings, hit allow, and you will get this MIUI super security warning. You'll have to wait for 10 seconds before allowing yeah, before allowing it to install, but nonetheless, hit OK, go back and hit install. OK, now it will take a couple of seconds to install and the launcher will restart on its own. There is going to be a security scan as always with Xiaomi and Poco devices. Anyways, now once we swipe back, we should be having a reloading launcher over here. And as you can see, right off the bat, the smoothness changes to a next level. And if we actually go to launcher settings or and you go to about, you will see this is 4.38.0.4907. The previous update was 1535 or something like that. So this definitely has been updated. Now let's see what is new over here. Okay. So once you go to launcher settings and go to more. Now there are a lot of options, but if you go to app drawer, you will have this backgrounds option. If you select the dark mode, and you see this 0, 25%, 50%. So when you swipe through this, you will see that this preview animation is much more smoother now. It used to be very jittery and flashy earlier, but now it is smooth as butter and it works really, really well. So that is one change that they have made and that is really, really good. What is sad to see is that they have not, you know, allowed third party icon support yet. I'm pretty sure sooner or later, you know, they will go ahead and do that. Now, apart from this, if you go to the main settings menu, there is something called as icon size. Now, look at the smoothness in this one as well. The preview smoothness is really, really nice. So it clearly shows that the POCO team is definitely working on optimizing the launcher and they should because whenever you unlock your phone or whenever you do anything, the launcher is the first thing that you will experience. And for a very long time, the POCO launcher has been buggy. Now, the unlock animation is also good. So let's go ahead and lock the screen over here. And let's see how the icons appear. There you go. Very, very smooth and cohesive experience. Another thing, as always, this has been added in the past, but it is much more smoother now. The app animation speed. Let's see here. We're launching Chrome. As you can see on a device like Poco X3 as well, the app icon launch animation is pretty decent. And as you would be noticing, these animations, the real time animations are still broken because these are just coming out and coming in, but they're still half baked and, you know, half broken. Now, in order to fix this, as I have shown you guys in my previous video as well, see the launcher is reloading again. You just need to go to the theme store over here. Okay. And you need to download the MIUI or MIUI 11 theme. So MIUI 11. Okay, this is the theme. Just go ahead and download it. It's a very, very small one. So it will not take a long time. Okay, don't apply the complete theme. You can apply the complete theme if you wish to. But we are talking about app icon animations over here. So we'll go to this profile option. We'll go to icons and we will select MIUI 11. Hit apply. Wait for it to be applied. Go to the main screen. Let it load again. And look at the app icon animations again. Now, this is a small bug in some devices. Sometimes it is working, sometimes it isn't. So I really hope they can fix it in one of the new launcher updates. So sometimes it is animated, sometimes it isn't. And this is in the relaxed mode. Now let's go to settings once again and let's put it to fast mode and see how much difference it makes to the POCO X3. Even though this is a 
Snapdragon 700 series chipset, still the animations are pretty good and they are working very, very well. Now that's not all. There are some more changes as well. If you go to the main screen, you go to widgets. Now you have three new Poco Launcher widgets. One by one, let's go ahead and have a look at them. This is the home screen widget. So, you know, shortcut for settings. Moving on, let's go to widgets once again. This is the wallpaper widget. So if you're someone who changes wallpapers a lot, this is a direct shortcut. And last but not the least, let's go to widgets once again. They have their own search bar. So you can replace that with the Google search bar. More or less, it does the same thing. But yes, Poco Launcher now has their own search bar. So that is a good thing. And as I said, app icon animations are still broken and there is a way to fix them. The fix will work perfectly on some devices and not so perfectly on some devices. Now there is one thing that is still broken that is wallpaper zoom. Whenever you're launching an application, the wallpaper zoom is not working in Poco Launcher. Now for that, what do you need to do? As I've shown in my previous video as well, you just need to go to apps, manage apps, three dots, show all apps. And over here, look for the wallpaper app. This one with the blue icon, uninstall updates, and then you have to reboot your device once. So let's go ahead and quickly reboot the device here. Now, apart from all of this, you know, while the device is rebooting, let me tell you that there is one more small change that they have made. Remember the default home screen preview that you used to get? I'll show you that. But while it is rebooting, let me go ahead and inform you about that. The preview and the icon size in the preview for that they have changed. So what this clearly means is they are constantly making changes to the Poco Launcher every now and then they are releasing updates and sooner or later it will be a better version overall with all the fixes and stuff. It will be really, really interesting to use. So we have rebooted over here. Let's see here. As you can see. There is this very slight wallpaper zoom effect, probably because we are on the Poco X3, but on the Poco X3 Pro and the Poco F3, that is the Mi 11X European version, this effect should be much more pronounced and much more better. So say you go to launcher settings once again and set default screen. You see now the icons preview over here is much, much larger compared to what it was earlier. So yes, this can still be used as a daily driver. There are no major bugs which will stop you from using this latest update as a daily driver. Talking about my favorite Google feed, well, I've not signed into this device, so Google feed is not there. But as always in Poco Launcher 4.0 and above, whatever updates you're getting for Poco Launcher, the Google feed experience is very, very nice. The scrolling experience in this Poco Launcher update is pretty good as well. So all in all, brilliant job by the Poco team to regularly update Poco Launcher. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this video? Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.